Surfing in Florida can be traced back as early as the 1930s with pioneers like Bill Whitman in South Florida and Galden Reed in Daytona. Movies and magazines in the 1960s exposed the masses to the new phenomenon. In 1964, Bruce Brown traveled the East Coast showing his new movie, The Endless Summer, two years before its official release. At the same time, modern surfboards were coming into the market and boards were being shipped to the East Coast. Surfing had arrived and it didn't take long for Eastern surfers to take things into their own hands. By the summer of 1965, the East had its own surfing magazine. And before decent westage, Florida surfers enjoyed more temperate surfing all year long. Surf teams and clubs sprang up all over the Gulf and East Coast of Florida. Surfboard manufacturers started producing their own boards from Miami to Jacksonville and into the Panhandle. By the 1960s, Oceanside Surfboards, under the leadership of Bill Feinberg, was a major producer in Cocoa Beach. Further north, George Miller was making boards and selling them through the Daytona Beach Surf Shop. Recognizing the market, George formed the Miller Surf Team and Mimi Monroe was one of his first team members. Later, Dick Catry recruited Mimi for his Surfboards Hawaii team and a year later formed the Hobie Surf Team, traveling the East Coast and dominating the contest circuit. By the spring of 1968, Florida was seeing the first wave of shortboards hitting the area, shortboards being defined as something under nine foot. Yancey Spencer showed up at the Easter contest with his brand new 9.6 and was blown away to see people riding shorter boards. The market changed quickly. Many surfers were stripping down long boards and the backyard builder boom ensued. By 1970, many Florida surfers went into full-scale production. One of those was Claude Codgen, who along with Sam Gornto and Bruce Belusi pioneered the Butterfly series. Claude is still making surfboards today under the Sunshine label. Surfing has come a long way since then. The style of riding shortboards doesn't even resemble that of early surfing. Boards.